the lightning seeds starting us off this afternoon and change you're listening to today's Lynette Faye show on Radio Ulster and BBC Sounds taking you through until four o'clock and we're going to start today by talking about smartphones how do you use yours most of us have one um, some of you might indeed be listening to this program via your smartphone this afternoon because they've become a communication tool uh, entertainment centres diary, news generator, sat-nav, dictionary, wallet, all in one. It's all there in in your hand. But uh, Ofcom says that the average adult in the UK spends almost a third of their day looking at a screen. I suppose that's all sorts of screens. But I wonder, are smartphones making us anything but smart? And are more of us choosing to revert back to handsets on which you can only make and receive calls and an SMS text message. Remember those, no WhatsApp in this world. So these phones and the basic handsets are referred to as dumb phones. So to help me talk about the rise of the dumb phone, uh, Professor Kieran Curran joins me now, a Professor of Cybersecurity at the School of Computing, Engineering and Intelligence Systems in Ulster University. Hello, Kevin. Good afternoon, Linda. So is this a phase, do you think? Are we just sick of screens and smartphones? It's, it, there will always be a section of the population who will go for these phones because they're dirt cheap and their battery can last for up to weeks. And some people don't want all the features that other people have. For instance, my son was born with a silver spoon in his mouth with regards to technology. And he gave up his iPhone many years ago um, to concentrate on his studies as much as he could. And he went to a dumb phone, as we say, one where you can only send basic messages back and over. It did my head in because I couldn't send photographs or anything else, but he swore by it for about two years. So there are people like that who don't want all the other features in life. And um, he is one of them. So he would be a, a, a Gen Z member who wouldn't have had the dumb phone the first time <coughs> around, but then took on that option for space and to, to concentrate. He did indeed, and some of the smart dumb phones are not that bad. He had one which Kai OS, which is very, it's made by the people who make the Firefox browser, and it actually comes with Google Maps and WhatsApp, and then your text messages. And so he had the basics when he needed it. If he it was stuck out somewhere and he needed to find directions, whatever else, but that's what he did. Now, in a unique world, I'm kind of unique. I'm a professor of cybersecurity. I got my first computer 36 years ago, and I speak to media all the world around about technology. And yet my partner has never used the internet. She has never sent an email. She has never browsed a website. She has never sent a WhatsApp or been on Instagram or anything like that. And she has a dumb phone. I like to call it the granny phone. And all I can do is send her my usual text messages and I can't send photos and I can't send love hearts. All I have to do is XXX and LOL. And I want to make a funny smile. Well, I, I wonder if it could also be the granddad phone as well now, I'm sure, Kevin. But I wonder how on earth does someone get to this stage of life without sending any of those messages that you've just described? It, it seems so alien. It does. It does indeed. But actually, people can still do it because when it comes to it, people will text message you as long as you can get phone numbers or your family or you know, you make your life around it and it can be a great saving, you know, because you can waste your life online and you will get distractions every time you lift the phone. Um, I rarely left my phone after seven o'clock at night time, believe it or not. Um, I, I do it all during the day because I know I'll start doing things on it, which I don't need to. So again, phones can be a distraction. I don't worry as much about Facebook and Instagram and this and the, you know, because it's public information. I don't worry too much about that. You know what I worry most about is the distraction the wasting of time, not not the privacy issues which people go on about. Because I see students all the time and I see that even when it comes to an exam and I tell them all and the look of fear when I say, everyone put your phone away and I try to reassure them with a smile on my face, don't worry, your friends and family will still love you after one hour. They will still be there. Please don't panic. The counsellors are here if you really want to see them, but please put your phone in your bag. I know, and you know what? It's not just younger people. We're all guilty of it, of scrolling. And once we go down the rabbit hole, you're you're right. We waste so much time. So you know, there there are loads of um, pros and cons uh, for the smartphone, against the smartphone, and then for the the dumb phone, as we refer to it. Um, so I, I wondered uh, just when you mentioned privacy issues, there, Kevin, um, would the cyber world know less about you if you had a basic handset? 
Well, it'd be almost impossible to hack it. <laughs> you know? So if you're going to be secure online, well, first of all, don't buy a phone. But if you really have to buy a phone, don't turn it on. If you have to turn it on, make sure it's a dumb phone. Um, simple as that. I mean, there's no way really into it. I mean, of course you are. The, the older technology, you know, the lower, you know, that the you know, the higher the hang of the fruit, as we say. So really, there is nothing there for anyone to see really with a dumb with a with a dumb phone. All the exploits really which exist are for Android, for Apple, for whatever operating systems there are. So yes, you would be more secure with a dumb phone, that's for sure. And then we're saving time is concerned you get so much back. Um but I wonder, you know, should also we also battery? Battery. Battery. And that's why, actually, so we take for granted in India, these dumb phones are very, very popular. Lots of places in India, they don't have electricity for up to six hours a day. These phones can last for weeks without being charged. They're also quite durable. You can drop them water, you can drop them. And they're also literally, look at, of course, the first thing I did as a dumb boyfriend was to try to upgrade my, my partner's dumb phone. And really, and the, and the only thing I thought was changing was I was giving her a little LCD on the outside, and it was the same door, a brand of phone, but it would allow her to see her messages without flipping the phone over. But of course, that was a step too much. So mm. of course, it lasted a few days and I had to roll back. She was very happy with the phone she had. So as a tech guy, I've got to learn to let her Make choose her, her own, own decisions as well. Yeah. Because she's, she's not charging half as much as me. Look at me, I'm charging my Apple Watch every single night. And then I don't have a watch in bed again. And next, you know, I go, why did I buy a smartwatch? But it's for me to learn about technology. But and there's me charging my phone twice a day, and I never see her charging a phone. You know, so she gets, she wins on that side of things. But of course, it's part of my role. I have to learn. I don't have to. I want to know about technology. I also a tech savvy as well. Ever, but honestly, if you know, if if you got someone older in your, you know, maybe. Don't buy your your older, you know, your elderly mother the latest iPhone. Maybe all she wants is a, a phone. She only has to charge once or twice a week and gets her messages and even WhatsApp and these phones. Some of these phones are very good, really are good. Yeah, and that's okay as well. And it is about managing our use of um, of smartphone technology and our managing our screen time as well. And I also wonder, you know, you, you mentioned there about charging phones and that the dumb phone um, lasts for lasts for uh, quite a long time. Um, so I just wonder about the you know the cost of living crisis that we're looking into now. Um, it's it it is more financially beneficial if you maybe don't have a smartphone because you're not paying for contract. Uh, you're not paying for all these things. Well, no, you still have to move on contract, but you can go for one of the cheaper ones because yeah. you, know, you don't have to really pay for data. Of course you can that, but when it comes to charging phones, really, it's, neg it's negligible um, how much electricity really your phone, unless you got your phone plugged in, you know, with a huge screen. No, devices like phones don't really cost that much in a, in a yearly basis. And also, you know, charge your phone if you're really worried about that whenever you're in hotels or on buses. You know, you can use other people's electricity if you want, but, but it's just the, the time savings, really. And like I said, the main thing in life, look at you know, you can't get your time back. You know, that you know, we're we're in a surveillance capitalism world, really. That's where the Googles and the Facebooks make money of us because we are the product again. So they're looking for eyeballs and they're looking for every way to bring us in. And there's always viral videos, of mm. course, there's always things in Ukraine you can see. And the less chance you have to see that, you know, the easier it is. You you don't build the neural pathways in your brain if you don't practice something all the time. So therefore, definitely, you know, even if you want your kids, you know, again, why what, what, Maybe the parents right now should be going out buying the dumber phones if they want to check the location or just be able to text their kids without their kids being able to access some of the sites online, which are horrific and just yeah. shouldn't be seen. So, you know, consider a dumb phone. And like I said, even the kid breaks and loses. It's only about 30. You can get these phones for 25 pounds, even less on eBay if you want. Yeah, it's much it's much less expensive. Lovely to talk to you today, Kevin. Thank you very much for your time. Um, there's an awful lot to think about from that conversation because we've got so used to smartphones. Could we just let them go and and revert to the basic handset or the dumb phone? Perhaps you've made the move recently, or maybe are you thinking about it? Are you thinking about it after that conversation? Let me know this afternoon eight one seven seven one on text and uh, give us a call on zero thirty thirty eighty fifty five fifty five. And I should mention that. ATL's Lauren Johnson has made a great report on the subject of young people and their relationship with phones and screens and you can listen to that now on BBC Science. I'm in the phone 